everybody, this is my second video on how to publish your own children's book. Um, as I said in the first video, um, I go to a lot of book shows, you know, like craft fairs, and I sell my books on the weekends because I'm a teacher during the week. And so a lot of people come to me, oh my God, I have this awesome idea for a children's book, but I don't know where to start. And so, I mean, so they always give me their business card. I always give them my business card and I say, you know, go to my website and take a look around. And if you have any questions, I'd be glad to help. Um, and so I get it probably, I don't know, probably about seven to 10 in the morning at a craft fair asking me questions. And, and I don't mind at all helping because like I love being creative and I love doing children's books because I've been a teacher for over 30 years. So everything I did in my classroom, um, I would put on paper and then I would get an illustrator. So each year it was just easy for me to just like reproduce it and use it over and over again. Because as a teacher, you know what works and you know what doesn't work. Um, so that's how I got started into um, children's book publishing. So today I'm gonna go over um, one of the major mistakes I made, which I made a lot. I'm gonna be honest. So this is um, Santa's sleigh takes flight. Obviously, it's a Christmas story. Um, so when I do books, you know, that's the back of it too. You have to have back copy. So when I do books, they have to be 24 pages long. That's what a typical children's book is, 24 pages. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna open this. You know, so you have that, right? You know, you add that. I put my logo logo because I have a brand. And so I like to do two page spreads. So it's one picture, but on two pages. Um, this book is a rhyming book. So I'm gonna read you the first page. Carol is singing songs to hear. Christmas Eve is finally here. And I love my illustrator. And I'm gonna tell you in a future video where I get all the people that I've pretty much worked with probably for 10 to 15 years. And then probably most of them aren't from this country, but they're so good to me. And we work so well together and they're so professional that I love them. And I've kept them over the years. All right, so that's a two page spread. Another two page spread. It's two pages, one picture. Jingle jangle, Christmas joy, Santa sleigh is filled with toys. Okay. Another two page spread, but it's one picture. Fires blazing, cozy nights, a magnificent sleigh is taking flight. One picture, two pages. You don't have to do it this way, but I'll show you in another video how I do other types of illustrations with words. Snowflakes falling, reindeer fly, children's eyes look toward the sky. I don't know if you can see it. You can see like the reindeer are made of stars. Candles lighting up the night. Christmas trees are shining bright. Candles lighting up the night. Christmas trees are shining bright. Cookies placed upon a dish. Children's letters reveal their wish. Super cute, right? Stockings hung in hopes of treats. A winter storm blows through the streets. If you do rhyming, you have to be perfect. Eight strong reindeer stand in line. Each stop takes a very short time. Down the chimney work to do. Santa's bag has toys for you. the chimney to the next house, Santa finishes quiet as a mouse. Blessings of joy to those near and far. Keep the spirit of Christmas alive where you are. May your day be filled with peace, love, and cheer. Merry Christmas to all. Ho, 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 until next year. So if I count these pages, you're going to have Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 
24 pages. So every children's storybook has to have 24 pages. Um, I don't always like doing rhyming, but lately I have been for some reason. I don't know. Um, but that's how your book has to be. So we're gonna go over, I have like 65 titles. And like I said in my first video, three were bought by a major publisher and <clears throat> Target buys for me. Um, I'm gonna show you step by step so I don't overwhelm you how this is done. And I'm gonna keep you from spending too much money um, because you don't need to. I'm just gonna tell you how to do it. Um, so anyway, this is one example of a book but I'm gonna keep sending um, you guys videos so you know how to, you know, maybe your book isn't like this. Maybe you don't do rhyme. Maybe you're a chapter book. I have done chapter books. Maybe your book isn't a rhyme. So I'm gonna show you different ways in the past that I've laid out books and I'm gonna tell you what has worked better for me and what hasn't worked for me and what was more popular. And the ones you don't think are gonna be popular are super popular and I'm like, really? Wow, I'm surprised about that. But anyway, video number two. Look for video number three in a couple days. I'll see you all soon. Thanks for stopping by. You can visit my website at www.adventuresofscubajack.com and I'm gonna keep uploading things and really working it for you all so you can get a really good idea of what you need to do. And I'm gonna type the words to this because I think it's important to really, if you're gonna rhyme, it has to be perfect. And I have a person who could help you all. Um, she's a former kindergarten teacher. And when I get stuck, she's my mentor and she's from Texas and she's totally awesome. Um, because the other thing that you need too is an editor. And sometimes, you know, that, that, that old adage, you know, sometimes you just need a other set of eyes to see something or you can't see the forest through the trees, whatever. Um, you really do because you might miss a comma and you might miss a period and people pick up on that. Um, so you have to be perfect before it goes to print. You have to be perfect and don't go to, um, you know, you can buy, you can go to these publishing houses for self publishing and you could buy a thousand copies. Don't do it. I did that. And then a publisher picked up that book and I wasn't allowed to sell them. So I have given those away, but don't do that. You're not ready yet for that. Um, so anyway, um, I hope this was helpful and watch for video number three. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.